Ha <laughs> ha. If one were to consume solely the funnel-fed bilge of national pop media, one might not be aware of the size of a massive rally Saturday night defying California Governor Gavin Newsom's latest authoritarian lockdown orders and COVID curfew. But with some precise searching, one gets the truth of their peaceful message, their spotlight on Newsom's hypocrisy, and their great, dignified rallying cry in favor of human rights. Get ready, everybody, because freedom lovers are on the move. Hi, everyone. I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. You know, despite the state's image as a cesspool of collectivism, pockets of Californians have, for many years, stood tall against the authoritarians. From the days of the 1990s stoner rock scene and their concerts performed in the desert using generators and, of course, without government permission, and that gave rise to bands like Fu Manchu, Caius, and eventually Queens of the Stone Age, to the April rally in San Diego that saw locals speak out against Democrat Governor Gavin Newsom's earliest lockdown edicts, many Californians know their rights and they're willing to exercise them. Saturday, November 21st, saw folks from the Huntington Beach area show this in a powerfully memorable way. They are officially now breaking the statewide curfew that went into effect at 10 o'clock. They took to the streets to define Newsom's recent curfew, his business closures, his public mask mandate, and his gathering restrictions. And they did it peacefully and they did it in huge numbers. The first report that I saw about it came from Twitter, from Alex Torres of Estrella TV. Strong presence of Latinos for Trump also showed up to the Huntington Beach Pier rally against at Gavin Newsom. So far, it was a peaceful rally. No arrests were made. However, not many face masks were worn. That won't please his highness, Gavin. Likewise, at 1049 local time, CBS LA reporter Emilia Aragawi tweeted excellent footage from the scene and not far from the lovely dark Pacific, offering in part, what curfew? Massive crowd in Huntington Beach, California, protesting a statewide COVID curfew that went into effect less than an hour ago. Live report coming up at 11 p on at CBS LA, hashtag curfew, hashtag COVID, hashtag COVID-19. The sidewalks were packed with energized, nonviolent people standing up against Newsom's edicts that stand in utter contempt to the Bill of Rights assurance of the right to peaceably assemble, to worship God, to be secure in one's belongings and property from government inspection without a warrant, and to be free from cruel and unusual punishment. And of course, they were also standing up for the Constitution's protection of the right to fulfill private contracts without interference from state or local politicians, police, or bureaucrats. Sadly, and possibly as a way to undercut the sheer energy of the movement, Ms. Aragawi's television station downplayed the crowd's size, claiming, contrary to what one's eyes can actually see in its tweet that linked to her story for their KCAL CBS2 website, knew what appeared to be dozens of people gathered on Saturday night in Huntington Beach to speak out against the state's coronavirus curfew that went into effect at 10 p.m. If only the count were there to count that stuff. One, one protester. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, it's a lot more than a few dozen. Jeez. Anyone looking at the image attached to the tweet can see that even given its isolated perspective, there were more than dozens of rally participants. Of course, technically speaking, a hundred in a photo is dozens. But the rally was really immense, and the description falls far from the mark of accuracy. Still, Ms. Aragawi's live report and the article attached to it at the station website are to be commended for capturing the magnitude of the rally, its peaceful nature, and the sense that the participants engaged in civil disobedience for very important reasons. These would be reasons about which, as MRC TV's Nick Congatis reported on November 20th, Newsom seems not to care, almost in the same manner as he doesn't seem to care to follow his own edicts. Indeed, Nick included in his MRC TV piece 
The news that, despite Newsom's orders telling others they couldn't go to nice restaurants, gather in big groups, or leave home without useless bacteria-festering face diapers, he did all of these things last week and got caught at a posh, expensive soiree with lots of others who did the same. It was a very large group of people and shoulder to shoulder, um, something that he's always telling us not to do. To be very clear, even if lockdown orders worked to stop the spread of COVID-19, which has been shown to be a false belief, even if COVID-19 obeyed curfews, and even if COVID-19 were deadlier than the seasonal flu, which is not the case, Newsom's orders would not only run contrary to the U.S. Constitution and most of the Bill of Rights, on a deeper philosophical level, Newsom could never claim the moral authority to stop people from peacefully meeting each other and taking their own risks. Such a stance is threatening and aggressive and multiplied in many other states, it has resulted in a destruction of the U.S. economy. As Ethan Yang notes for the American Institute for Economic Research, the United States has turned a manageable disease into a catastrophe. Not only does it possess one of the largest number of deaths, but the economic lockdown policies led to a 32.9% drop in real GDP. This is in stark contrast to Taiwan, whose Q2 real GDP dropped only 0.73% while never instituting draconian lockdown measures, as well as having one of the fewest total of deaths or cases in the world. Well, Gavin Newsom appears to be ignorant of this reality, ignorant of the US Constitution, fundamental ethics, and very blind to his own towering hypocrisy. But the people of Huntington Beach just turned out in droves to remind him of all of that. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Big thumbs up to you in Huntington Beach and anywhere where you're standing up for your rights. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, remember, make sure you're still subscribed. Please hit the like button and share. Of course, share and share alike. And if you're over on Facebook, we'll see you in there. I'll see you in the comments section on YouTube. See you on Twitter as well. I'm at Guard Goldsmith on Twitter. And please visit us on Instagram as well. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.